Yeah, we're doing okay. I think obviously we're a bit disappointed with the last two uh, losses and they were fairly close games, but we know how strong of a team we are. And I think we've trained hard and got a couple of days off from the game, so hopefully we're raring to go this weekend. Your own form has been exceptional. You must be really pleased with how you're playing. Yeah, definitely. It's um, nice. Obviously, it's my first time out here and first time playing against a lot of the players, so I'm just trying to kind of get used to the conditions out here and it's really good to have the girls got my back as well. It is your first WBBL campaign. Is it what you expected or has it been a little bit different or have you found it? Yeah, it's kind of what I expected. I knew every game kind of feels almost like a cup final. Um, it feels kind of quite exciting and I knew the quality of players as well. So it has been a challenge, but I've enjoyed it. What about bowling on the Australian wickets? I know you have been to Australia before, um, but was there any adjustment period there for you or anything you've learned as the games have um, evolved? Uh, not too much. I think because I, uh, I played here in the World Cup earlier, I kind of knew what the pitches were like. Uh, but for me, it's kind of learning again. So there's so many different types of batters out here and they all have their different game plan. And so sometimes you've got to adjust your own plan to suit that. So that's kind of my biggest learner. One thing we have seen you do is open the bowling a little bit this tournament. Is that something you've done before and how are you enjoying that? I've, it's, I've hardly done it. I've maybe done, only done it once in the past. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I was really nervous when I first went to do it. but. Um, I kind of was clear with my plans and just kind of went for it. I felt like I had nothing to lose and now that I've had a few experiences of it, I'm enjoying it. This is a, a massive weekend for the Scorchers. It's an incredibly tight table. What's the approach going into the weekend? Um, I think we won't, we'll approach it like every game we have done. I think we've learnt to park every game in the past, whether it was kind of good and bad and we've just took the positives from that game. Um, so obviously we are disappointed with the last two losses, but there's still plenty of good cricket we're playing um, and we know what our plans are, so we're raring to go. Is the mindset that your destiny is in your own hands? If, if you keep winning, you know, you're in control and you can guarantee a final spot? Yeah, definitely. It's always it's always in the back of our mind thinking, oh, like to get to finals and win it. But I think we can't look too far ahead. So that's why we're taking each game as it comes um, and just trying to focus on winning that game and then going to the next. And so, if you define the captain has been named in the squad for this weekend, a huge boost to the team. Yeah, definitely. She's a great asset to the team, and obviously she's such a skillful player. But also to be our like captain and show us the ropes, kind of thing. And we've learnt a lot off her, so she's a great value to the team. And obviously Amy Jones um, had her first game back as well. Must take a lot of confidence having the top three um, being able to actually play cricket together at the pointy end of the tournament. Yeah, definitely. I've really felt for Jonesy getting that early injury. Um, but she's took it on really well and has worked hard on her rehab. So to have her back in the squad and along with everyone else, it's really good.